you guys so basically i did a poll yesterday and everyone was excited to want to hear my point of view about movies so let's get to it all right so what do you guys want to know do you guys want to know the genre of the movie or do you want to know my experience of working in the movie industry or you just want to hear mostly about everything right so all right um i gotta say that when I was in college, I used to be an intern for this film studio a long time ago, and it was a great experience. And it was a great world of adventure to experience what it's like to be in a studio. And all I did was, and the department of all this was mostly like lightning and grip. And I gotta say that working there was such an incredible an honor to learn so much about the studio industry. Like I get to like check out these interesting wires and different lighting and how to like basically put it on set. And it was like, wow. So this is a lot of hard work. So the entire environment was a great experience for me. And I got to meet some directors that was filming the Quantico, you know, the HBO girls before it used to be, you know, you know finish the whole series i gotta say working there was such a fun and amazing adventure and i love the people i work with my boss was fun he's nice to talk to he's very, very cool he's very chill and i gotta give them shout out and especially the wonderful employees that helped me on the way learning all these things you know um other than that i gotta say in movies in general Nowadays, when you see movies, especially when it's advertisement in your television set, I gotta say that sometimes some movies are misleading and some of it, it's really like a pull that you want to spend 20 something dollars plus tax to see that movie. I want to be frank about these things, right? I just think that movies in this nowadays with this um generation i just think that some movies and i'm going to say some because not all movies are in the whole situation with the woke garbage all right i'm just saying i'm just saying there are movies out there they just not for me or anyone else and i don't want to speak for those who don't like it i just think in my opinion that like, movies nowadays for this time period it's not really going to be a wow for anyone that likes these movies like i can understand that okay people don't like action but they like sci-fi and people who don't like sci-fi they may like romance if anyone doesn't like these kind of genres from romance to comedy to fairy tales to you know suspense or thriller anything that comes to mind i can understand that completely it's totally understandable so I can understand that if people want to see this movie, go right ahead. You know, you can see that movie. I'm not stopping. You can, like, spend a freaking 20 bucks, you know, on a ticket. Go right ahead. You know, that's your money going to them. I don't really care. But what I'm saying is that movies nowadays should be able to entertain fans. And a lot of people nowadays are losing interest. And why I say that is because when you try to put reality into some movies, like for example, you put out the Civil War movie featuring Christian Dunst. I personally saw it. For me, when I saw it in the theaters, I didn't quite understand it. Mostly like, okay, in the beginning of the movie, as it opens up, we, and just to let you guys know, um, beware of spoilers, by the way. And if you don't want to hear it, then you can skip through this part. But getting to what's happened in the beginning of the film, we see that the President of the United States makes an announcement and telling the people, the American people, that um, something's going on, that we should be, you know, divided, and all these things going on, and we're limiting all our sources, we're cutting the military, you know, as it goes along, we see that Christian Dunn's, you know, character is reporting and she is desperately wants to interview the president. 
to see why, like, what's the hold of what's going on? Like, what, what is your plan? Are you going to fix the world? Are you going to make things right again? Like, what's going on? And after that, we see this massive explosion. We run to another female character. And she's a young girl. We don't know much about her. We know that she grew up in the countryside. And then we see this um, actor, that you probably recognize him, that was in the Narco Netflix TV series. He's another reporter that works for Christian Dunst's character. Then we see another near post guy. Then we see more explosions. And then we realize that everyone's going after each other. Then there's a big explosion again. Then cops are trying to stop people from stealing the water because apparently the food over there is becoming scarce and of course it's filmed in New York, obviously. And they're traveling, they're trying to get to DC and we realize we run into um, Christian Dunn's real life husband, the redhead who was in Breaking Bad. He's questioning people based on their ethnicities. I'm saying, huh? Uh, what's going on here now? What's, what's happening? And then towards the end, we realize that the military is so divided that they're going after the president. So after that, and a couple of years, you hear spoilers, prepare for this, they kill him off. Like, <laughs> they kill the president. So I look at my folks and I'm saying, what? So that was the whole motive? So you have a military and you decide to go that route? Really? That was the stupidest ending I ever seen in my life. What was that? So that trailer that I recently saw that was hoping to see like the action pack and excitement to see what's going to happen. But seeing the big screen... That was a head scratcher for me, honestly. I didn't quite get it. I really don't. But anyways, I'm just saying that this film, this Civil War film, was not meant to be. I'm sorry. I don't care if the advertisers are trying to say, oh, it's the best film, it's number one. This is how the movie industry tries to get us fans, audience members, to go see movies nowadays when it advertises on TV. They will say things like that. So you can spend a freaking money on that film so they can reach the box office number so they can be number one and get higher ratings in the Rotten Tomato meter. That's how it works nowadays, right? But overall, getting to my personal take, I was expecting more like Upperheimer and I saw that film. I gotta say, Upperheimer, that film, I loved it. You know, Clint Murphy? Right on a game playing that character who did the atomic bomb, especially RDJ, the one you guys probably know who he was an Iron Man, obviously. And you've seen Emily Blunt, and you've seen a lot of these iconic actors and actresses in that film. I gotta say, I give props to Christopher Nolan, who did the Dark Knight franchise, and put this film of Oppenheimer is genius. It's absolute genius. I love his work. I love how he has a strong agenda because he knows what he's doing. And this is what people need to see nowadays, especially Dune. The whole Dune series is phenomenal. It's unique. It's something original. I know it's like a remake of the original of the other Dune movie, but this one, the newer one, they decide to remaster. It's incredible as well because uh, Timothy, I think that's his name, and Zendaya, really perfectly casting. I love it. And I gotta say, it's like a beautiful story. And this is what movie industry needs. You know, you need to have a strong agenda of what you're aiming for. You need to have people loving these kind of cinematic adventures because they don't want anything politics. They don't want any of this woke garbage. They want something like Doom. They want something like Oppenheimer, where it's like an Oscar-worthy moment of these kind of films. You don't want something like The Civil War or Barbie or anything of these woke movies because that's towards whatever people's opinions on what they want in life, you know? Because people are going to lose interest. For me, I didn't want to see that Barbie movie. Heck no. 
the reason behind all that is mostly like it's leaning towards the politics of feminist kind of garbage. Look, if you want to see that Barbie movie just because you have a dying crush on Ryan Gosling because he was in a notebook and he's singing that Ken song that everyone's crazy about, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. I'm just saying my opinion, you guys. If you guys really love that Barbie movie, that's on you. I mean, yes, I collect Barbies. I'm a girl. I collect them all the time. So don't get triggered by what I'm saying. You may like it. For me, I won't spent my money on that because to tell you the truth <laughs> I don't know how the heck Barbie was in the category in the Oscars it makes no sense yes it won a best song for Billie Eilish but is it really that necessary no but if you want something that's interesting that's factual that's actually that would interest you that would make you want your jaw to drop or something that would make you you know stand on your own two feet and applaud you know because you love that movie then go right ahead see these kind of movies that I mentioned I just think nowadays you know people should have better outlook on finding a way to make the audiences wanting to see more of it you know this is why we have sequels you know we already had Dune 2 so apparently they're also going to make another sequel of it because it's based on people's likes you know especially the box office numbers and i can tell that massive number of the box office for dune is probably you know groundbreaking and beating records left and right especially Oppenheimer. you know it was close to becoming number one but it was a tie between barbie and Oppenheimer. so i already tell that Oppenheimer really beat barbie to a pulp that's all i can say but all i can say is like if you want to see an action-packed movie or any kind of drama movie, that's totally up to you. I just think nowadays there are movies out there that are just not worth it. I mean, for starters, like, why is it that we always have to have these horror movies in the middle of the summer? Shouldn't it be during, like, oh, I don't know, Halloween kind of thing? Because horror movies should be close to, like, almost early of October per se so why do we have to have horror movies in the middle of june or july shouldn't be more like leaning towards something like entertaining for once i'm just saying like i said before like the furiosa movie which is coming out on may 24th i gotta say that i'm gonna be seeing that movie because i like the mad max fury road movie and i own it on dvd i put that on repeat non-stop because you know why i love the story the visual effects, the acting, even though, you know, both Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron had a big feud on set and behind the scenes, basically. But I love the texture of it. I love the makeup. I love the whole stunts. I love how it just gives me that pull and excitement and hearing the sound of it. It just gives me that chill and goosebumps on my arms. I want that kind of feel to it. So that's why I'm going to continue seeing that franchise because directors have a vision you need to see what they see just don't put a story and make some woke garbage thinking that people are going to watch it maybe some people will watch it but not me i have different tastes than other people that do if you guys want to see that kind of like woke movies then that's totally up to you that's totally on you i'm not going to be forced to see it i don't care if you try to drag me in it i want to say nah no i'm sorry but you know it's not worth it but I can say right now, you guys, if you guys really, really want to see something really cool, then see whatever you want to see. See Godzilla vs. King Kong. See other movies that, you know, gravitate your eye. You want to be scared? Go ahead. Watch thriller movies. See The Exorcist remastered or something that will make your bones, you know, make you quiver or give you that cringe. Go right ahead. You know, that's totally your take on it, and you tell me what you guys think, alright? So, comment down below, you know, what you guys like about the movies, and if you have a certain movie that I should be watching, let me know in the comments, alright? So, other than that, just to end this video, I want to tell all of you, thank you so much for watching. If you guys really enjoyed this video, press that like button. And you guys are new to my channel, you can probably have five club, yet smash and push the subscribe button. And if you guys need to contact me, you can always contact me on my Twitter, my Instagram, my blog post, my Pinterest, my Discord, my Twitch. 
And of course, as well, check out my beloved husband, Time Chain is huge channel, guys. Please support my husband. He's a phenomenal writer. And please, you guys, if you guys are in the publishing business, I know I repeat myself, but I'm going to say it right now. Please, please, if you guys are really in the publishing business, please check out my beloved husband. He is a phenomenal writer and unique artist. He is so talented. I will never let you down, all right? Love you, honey. So this is your help by leader Maggie Negan, the walking half girl, 27 and off. See you guys next video. Peace out.